How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Unity tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a do you want to continue dialog that has a slider timer within it. So basically how this works is the slider will tick down. Um, and when you get to zero, you can add some logic to basically um, set the no option. Uh, or you can click yes and the, the timer will stop and you can basically, you know, if you died or something, you can respawn in. Um, so that's basically how this works. To show you how it works, if I just click play, you can see the timer slowly goes down. If I then click yes, the slider will stop and that's when you can add in your own extra logic to basically close this dialog and respawn your player in. Cool, so that's it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm going to a empty project right now. Um, first thing I want to do is start creating the UI. So the first thing we need is a canvas. So we'll just add our canvas like that. We want to then just change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Um, the next thing we want to do is within our canvas, let's just add an image um, just to make it clear on what we're working on. Um, and we can just change the color to like a dark color. So it looks something like that. Cool, that looks nice. So on our canvas again, let's create the slider. That should just sit like that. Um, we can then add our uh, text mesh pro and we can just change the text to, do you want to continue? If I can spell that correctly. Um, and let's just move that to the very top. We can then add our UR button. Um, and we can just say that to yes. And we can then just duplicate that and we can set that to no. All right, and let's just shift that over just a little bit. And we can shift that over just a little bit. And for our slider, let's just move that up a little bit. Obviously, you're gonna change this to make this look better for your game. This is just the like a template for you to use. Um, then within your actual slider, you want to, you will see, we've got this handle slide area. So we don't actually need this. Let's just delete that for now. Um, and then within the full area, we've got this full, um, we want to then change this to like a red color so we can visually see this thing moving when the time's ticking down, uh, makes it look a lot better. Um, and that's pretty much it on the UR side. There is one thing to note though, is with the slider, um, if you set the value to one, you can see there's just this little gap that's there. And it's kind of annoying, but to fix that, what you wanna do is just head on to our full area on the slider, and you just wanna extend this little thing to make it look something like that. Um, and then, yeah, we can then just tick this down. Oh, I went too far. So you wanna just change it just to make it look correct. So, yeah, something like that. Um, and yeah, now it's when it's at one, it'll tick down and you've got rid of that little gap. So looks really good. Um, that's pretty much it. The last thing we need to do is just create our script. So we want to create an empty game object. Um, we can call this our game manager or something. Let's, let's do that game manager. Um, if you do currently have a game manager, you can just add the logic that we're going to be adding to this script to your current game manager. You don't actually need a whole new script, but if you're starting from scratch, this is something you can do. So we can just call this, uh, we want to create a new script for this and we'll call it timer script. And yeah, that's about it here okay? um, on the UI side of things. So let's get into the code. Alrighty, so I've just opened up the time script and the first thing we want to do is just delete this update function. And we need us to start adding the variables that we're going to need. So the first thing we need is the slider variable. So we know what slider we're talking about. I always do that. Um, and then we want to say time a slider. And it's going to not like that because we are missing a library. So let's just edit here dot UI. And that should fix that. Next, next variable we need is a public float variable. And we're going to call this a slider timer. Um, the next thing we need is a public bool variable and we're going to call this stop timer and we're going to actually just set the default to false. Cool. So this timer slider, this is what our 
basically how much time we want to set the time to be at. So for example, 10 seconds. And this bool will basically let us know whether we need to stop the time or not. So in the void start now, we just need to do a couple things. So in the for the actual slider itself, we need to set the max value to equal the slider time value. So we need to set the max value to actually equal the amount of time we want to set the timer to. Um, and then we also want to set the value, the actual value to the slider timer. Um, and that's about it. So what we're also going to be doing is we're going to call our func um, function that actually starts the timer from the start, just because we don't have any other logic in here. So for now, we when the game starts, we're basically going to just start the timer. Um, so I'll just call it here. So basically when the game starts, we'll set the max value to the slider timer, which is for example, 10 seconds. We'll set the value to 10 seconds. We will then start the, basically start the timer. But just a note, you can have this anywhere in your code. You could be 15 minutes into your, your game and you want to start this. Do you want to continue timer? Um, or little dialogue. Um, so what you want to do is you would add the start timer to, you know, anywhere in your code. I'm just adding it to the void start because I don't have any other logic in here. So public void start timer. And what we want to do is a start coroutine. Um, and what we want to do is say, um, start the timer ticker. Okay. Something like that. Start the timer ticker. Um, and I'll explain this, what all this does now. I'll just write this here just to make sure that we have no errors. And then you want to just yield, um, return new wait for seconds, 0.001F. And that's it. Okay, so what this is going to do, because we don't have, we're not using the update function, we need to kind of replicate that same kind of logic where we basically every frame per second, we do an update. So what wait for seconds does is it will actually wait a, a split second to continue within this um, I enumerator. So very, very useful. And it's, 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 it's basically the same way of how we're going to make it, the timer um, slider basically tick down. Because if we didn't have this and we just set the, the, the value to time dot delta time, um, it will basically just instantly finish. So we need to actually slowly tick it down. Um, so to show you how that's all going to work, um, it's pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is do a while loop. So we're going to basically loop as long as the stop timer is equal to false. Um, so we're going to just keep doing all this logic within you as long as the slider is all like that. Cool. Um, so what we're going to do in this while loop is the slider timer is going to be losing its value by time dot delta time. So we're going to have our 10 seconds and slowly we're going to be reducing it by time to delta time. Um, and then it'll basically wait a split second to continue with the logic below. So if, and what we're going to add here is if slider timer is less than or equal to zero, we're going to stop the timer. And I'll just add the last little function we need here. So if the stop timer is equal to false, we want to then add the, update the slider value. So timer slider dot value is equal to slider timer. And that's literally all you need. So to explain what this all does, we're going to be reducing the slider timer by time to dot time. We'll then wait a split second. If the slider timer is less than or equal to zero, we'll then stop the timer. So it'll exit the while loop. If the stop timer is equal to false, we will then go and update the slider value. So that's how we actually update, see the slider value changing over time. And that's basically it we need for, for this while loop. Um, just a quick note with these start coroutines. So if you wanted to add logic, for example, once the timer stops, you want to then, you know, respawn the character or do something. You wouldn't add the logic off the start coroutine. You wouldn't add logic here.
Um, that's just because um, when we, how these star coroutines work, when you start the timer, it'll go into this function. It will then create a instance where it'll go into here and start doing this logic, but then it'll also carry on going down. So it'll just, it'll just carry on doing whatever logic is here without waiting for this to be completed. So what you'll need to do is actually add any logic below inside the I numerator. So for example, you want to respawn the character, you would add the logic here, just below here. Um, yeah. So yeah, you'll have to add all your logic within here or we'll call another function that does stuff in here. Just don't do it over here because it, it won't work. It'll just, it'll do it without the timer stopping. Um, cool, That with that notes, uh, we just want to create one last thing called stop timer. And what we're going to do is just set the stop timer to equal true. So this is where for our button. So our button, when you click it, it'll just set the stop timer to true. And that's how we will just automatically stop the while loop. And then you can carry on with your logic below. Yeah. Um, and that's literally it for the code side of things. All right, so I've headed back into the game. And the first thing you want to do is just click on the game manager. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of these new variables available to us. So what you want to do is just drag our slider into here. And you want to set this to, for example, 10 seconds. You can change to 60 seconds if you want. That's just the amount of time it's going to take for this to tick down. Next thing you want to do is just head over to the button. And we want to just add an on click event for this. So we will just drag our game manager into here. And we will just select the stop timer. And we'll do the exact same thing for the no button as well. So it's for the yes and no button. Um, just note that you sh probably should create two different um, classes for this. So a stop timer for yes and stop timer for no, most probably. Um, so they can do separate logic. But for now, just to keep things simple, I've just added, just created one one uh, local function for both of these. So with that all done, it should all actually work. So if I click play, we should see the timer going down, the value's going down, <laughs> look at this little thing go. And if we click yes, it stops the timer. So yeah, very simple, all works. Um, yeah, if you have any questions on how to implement this into your game, just let, let me know. Send me an email. I've got my email address in my uh, YouTube channel about section. Uh, and Or just leave a comment um, in, the, in the comment section. And yeah, if you like these videos, please leave a like, subscribe. It really means a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.